To do this experiment, I'm going to try to fill up two five-gallon pails, one with the old garden hose and one with the new stainless steel garden hose. And the way it's set up is I've got it, the old garden hose is connected to the same spigot by a Y connector. And the new garden hose is on the other end of the Y. Made sure there's no kinks in either hose. And then we're gonna turn it on and just see what the difference in time is between the two. Okay, yep, we're ready to go. See the flow coming out of the stainless steel hose is much smaller. The volume of water is significantly less. And I'll report the time difference between the two at the end of the video to look at the percent difference. But obviously the one on the right is going significantly faster. We'll just let it overflow. Uh, the stainless steel hose hasn't even got to a half yet. So, okay, I'll take that. Whoop, that one's, keep it in there. Oops, sorry about that, guys. I don't do videos often. Come on, little stainless steel hose. You can do it. Oh boy, this is gonna be a longer video than I expected, but uh, that's the way you're gonna be when you're watering your plants out in the garden or in, you know, if you've got any fir trees, uh, arborvita or anything you're trying to get you know, a good start on, you're gonna be out there a good 50% or probably longer, 70%, maybe longer, to get the same amount of water on those plants. So that's something to consider when you buy this hose. I wasn't aware of it when I ordered it because they don't show the size on the advertisement. So we're almost getting, almost there. I'm just doing this so I can calculate the time difference between it. And we're almost there to the top. Okay, I want to review this hose, and I do love the hose, however, the attachment on the end where you put the nozzle, you can't undo that with your hand because see how narrow it is? So if you try to use your hand to undo it, it actually takes this bottom part off, this, this thing. And this is just too small to get a hold of. So in order to take this off, I have to go get my pliers and put my pliers on there. And I find that to be quite a pain. If not for that, um, I really do like the hose and I think it's going to last me a long time. I got it to replace one of the expandable fabric hoses that they just don't last. So anyway, that is my complaint, and it will be an annoyance for as long as I have this hose, and if it lasts as long as they say it will, it's going to be an annoyance for a long, long time, and I'll get used to it. Um, the other end has a larger piece to hold on to. Let me show you that. Okay. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, it's nice and solid. Yeah. Have a look what we got here. Solid, these fittings are pretty good. That fitting is pretty good too. 
it's a lot, it's heavy, but it's a lot lighter than I thought it would be. Doesn't look like it's going to crimp up. And this thing is really, really nice quality. 100 foot long, still got good water pressure. Could actually turn the water up a bit. I only got it cranked about halfway, if that, but yeah, this is solid. Would recommend. Look how long this sucker is. Jesus. I'm gonna get a video of him using that new metal garden hose. And oh my God, we really like it. It don't tangle up on everything. It don't kink up. Do you like it? Do you like it? Yeah. Okay, he likes it. Anyway, well, we like it and he can pull it out. And get Hi, this is my hose on the reel. I really like it. And now instead of dreading and hauling the heavy hose this so far so good easy to roll easy to um unwind uh this the metal jacket will protect it from this uh pavis i will make another video Yeah. 